I'm Dak Kulungu. I'm here with uh, Kulungu for Congo. We believe in improving life for young people and alleviating poverty, one person, one family, and one region at the time. I was born and raised in the Congo, and uh, I remember a story of uh, one of my friends who was a cross guy uh, among uh, many of my friends, and this guy was very, a very smart kid who came out of a very poor family. My friend would have to go collect bamboo so he can build uh, uh, small cars. You know, in Africa, a lot of kids don't have toys like here in America. So my friend would sell these cars and to a lot of kids would, would be riding these cars in our community. And he would use the money to give to, her, to his mom who would then pay rent or buy food for them. Uh, Tonton's ambition and dreams were to, to, to go to school one day and come out of school successful so he can have a chance to actually to take the bamboo's idea from that level of being on the street to really building uh, why not a company where he can be uh, manufacturing cars. Uh, but because of poverty, he didn't make it. Uh, now Tonton lives in the village with three kids uh, that he has and he and his wife, a small family. Uh, he can't even provide for them. So the, this kid's life is also uh, jeopardized because the dad can't afford for them to, to pay for them to go to school. Uh, I like him, I was blessed and fortunate to, 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 to go to school because somebody had to invest in me. So keeping this legacy moving forward, then we decided to come up with uh, Kulungu for Congo and decided to invest in education because we believe that education is necessary. The schools in Congo are really uh, at the, uh, the miserable status where they, some don't have a roof, some have bamboos and when it's raining, kids have to run and go back to the classes. Uh, they sit on the dust on the floor and, and there is no chairs. Uh, the teachers don't have books. Sometimes kids end up using the same book that his dad or his grandpa used 40, 50 years ago. See, I was giving up an opportunity to get out of poverty. I went to school and now I'm thinking about helping a lot of people in the Congo. So I look about all this uh, problem that's going on in the Congo, you know, lack of opportunity, lack of education, lack of infrastructures. Young people are in deep poverty. Then I'm asking myself a question, what can I do to help? What can you do to help?